Hi friends, welcome to the next episode of Every Minute is Pressure series. Today we're going to be looking at a very important image that is of a patient suffering from sickle cell anemia. Let's just try to recall the important fact that this is a condition which is seen because of the presence of a point mutation. And this point mutation typically is going to be seen at the sixth position of the beta globin chain, particularly because of the fact that the glutamic acid is going to be replaced by valine. So glutamic acid goes and valine is welcome at this position. Now this is responsible for the formation of an altered hemoglobin which is called by the name of hemoglobin S. Particularly at the time of dehydration and the time of hypoxia, the hemoglobin S has a tendency to polymerize inside the cell. To accommodate this polymer, the cell has to alter its shape and therefore it is going to be acquiring a shape that is given the name of a crescent shape. So the crescent shaped cells or the sickle shaped cells are going to be produced at the time of hypoxia and dehydration and these cells have a problem that they are going to be having the presence of an increased mechanical fragility and they are having a decreased osmotic fragility. They are responsible for causing occlusion of the blood vessels. They are responsible for having an entrapment in different organs because of which the patients are going to be experiencing symptoms. Now what you just need to answer for me in the chat box is the answer for this question which is asking you about the commonest crisis which you would expect to see in a patient suffering from sickle cell anemia. Answer as quickly as possible. Thank you so much.